CNN threatens it will damage Trump overseas. Jeff Zucker went running to New York Magazine to issue a warning to President Donald Trump that he better stop being mean to the flagship of the Progressive Party's press, CNN, also known as Communist News Network, or Clinton News Network, or for the purpose of this report, the Crappy News Network. Mind you, this is the network that features hosts who compare Trump to a dictator less than a week into his presidency in which he is scaling back federal power. Because, folks, that's what dictators do. They scale back power. And recently ran a report comparing now to the Orwell dystopian novel 1984. Zucker cried to New York Magazine that one of the things that I think this administration hasn't figured out yet is that there's only one television network that is seen in Beijing, Moscow, Seoul, Tokyo, Pyongyang, Baghdad, Tehran, and Damascus. And that's CNN. The perception of Donald Trump in capitals around the world is shaped in many ways by CNN. Continuing to have an adversarial relationship with that network is a mistake. We wouldn't want you to make a mistake, you know. Maybe you'll change your maybe you'll change your approach to us. Maybe you'll stop calling us fake news. That seems like a not-so-veiled threat that CNN will undermine the president with other nations. Now, I don't know if that statement in and of itself doesn't border on sedition. In other words, Zucker is telling the president of the United States, the most powerful man on the face of the planet, that if he doesn't stop challenging CNN's fake newsery, that CNN will step up its fake newsery and paint Donald Trump in a highly unfavorable light. Can't imagine it being any more unfavorable than it already is over at that crappy news network. In a way that will damage U.S. relations, not just Trump relations, but U.S. relations with other nations. Take that in, folks. CNN is threatening not just Donald Trump, but your America. Perhaps it's time to identify CNN as a terrorist organization at this point, no? Or at the very least, how about we identify it as an insurgency operation? Zucker added, It's just unfortunate that the most powerful person in the world is trying to delegitimize journalism and an organization that plays such a vital role in our democracy. I think he's entitled to his opinion, but it's, to use one of his favorite words, sad. You know, we wouldn't want anything to happen. You know, to your reputation overseas, you know, even if it hurts the nation. You know, if you want to call us fake news, we're going to go after you, and we're going to go after our little pretty little country. You know, it's kind of like CNN's walking up to them and saying, you know, you know that country you have. You know, it's a nice country. It's pretty. I wouldn't want to see anything happen to it. No, Mr. Zucker. He's not attempting to delegitimize journalism. He's simply calling fake journalism the kind of journalism you and you, your uh, cohorts at Progressive Party uh, Press Hacks do all over at the crappy news network. Calling that what it is. Fake news.